Hey there, it's Cassie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I have another encouraging card for you today. Actually, I've got several, uh, but I'm only going to show you how I make one of those. And I believe this is number 16 in my series. So we're going to jump right in to the creating of this card. I have a watercolor panel here that I got from Simon Says Stamp, and this comes from the Susie's Flower Sentiments. Uh, there's a set of 12 cards in there. I showed this, like I said, in a haul video from a few days ago. And uh, I'm, I'm showing you the painting of one of those panels. These come on the Tim Holtz Distress watercolor paper, and this is on the smooth side. All the images are printed on the smooth side of that watercolor paper. And I am painting with some Daniel Smith watercolors that I just recently got not that long ago. And I'm just gonna tell you, I can see what all the fuss is about. These watercolors are really, really nice. Um, that doesn't mean I'm gonna stop watercoloring with the other watercolors that I have, but I do really enjoy painting with these. These are a lot of fun. So this video is sped up about four times just for the sake of length, otherwise this would be an extremely long video. But let me tell you a little bit about my setup and what it is I'm doing. So I started off watercoloring, like I said, with the Daniel Smith watercolors, and that first color that I used is called Verona Gold Ochre. And I like to put down a light wash to start with all of my colors. I put down a base and then I start to go in with darker colors. This is just how I do it. This is what works for me. And that second color that I'm using is called Permanent Yellow Deep. And I'm going to go in where I think the deepest shadows would be and I'm going to add that all over those sunflower petals. And I want to tell you a little bit about my setup. So I am using a number four watercolor brush that is a silver black velvet watercolor brush. And I have my watercolors off to the left there. And I actually have, you occasionally see me reach over to the right. I am getting water from something called a rinse well. And so let me just go off and show you what that is. This is my rinse well. I'm not very good at having two cups of water and one be clean and one be dirty. I end up having to go and take care of that water so much. So I bought this rinse well and you see that button? I pushed it and what you do is it, it, it releases the button at the bottom and then that button at the bottom will release the water into a, a reservoir at the bottom and then it fills up with clean water again. And so I love the rinse well. It works so well for me, especially somebody who tends to get Fairly dirty and fairly messy, as you can tell my rinse well is, is well loved, and I do clean that thing out pretty well. I'll have a link to that down below if that's something that you're interested in. But let's get back to the painting, and now I'm grabbing a third color. I'm going to grab, um, that color is ah, quinacridone gold. And I tend to usually like about three colors, but I end up adding a fourth later. Um, I, I like to add a lot of contrast and I find by grabbing about three colors that are fairly different, almost like when I do my Copic coloring, you can, you can get some good variation. And I do have a rag nearby. It's just a, I say rag, but it's just a, um, paper towel. And when I get something a little too wet or a little too dark, I grab my paper towel and I can kind of push that in there and sop up some of that color. Now, of course, a lot of that depends on whether or not you have staining colors and these really aren't staining colors. So it works out fairly well. I think most of the colors that I have that are staining are some scarlet colors and a, uh, some greens. Um, but I haven't checked all of the staining on all of the colors that I do have yet. So I can't really say for sure. And now I'm moving on to the greens, and that green that I'm using is sap green. And then I'm going to, after I'm done with that, I will move on to a green appetite genuine. Uh, but for starters, I'm just using that sap green, and I like to put down that light wash all over those. And I'll talk a little bit about how I colored the rest of them, because I am going to show you all 12 panels because I ended up making all 12 into uh, cards. And that's why I'm calling this Encouraging Cards because I know this says congratulations and you could send that to encourage someone somehow. But I ended up making all 12 of them and so I figured many of those could go out as an encouraging card to someone. And this is where I've grabbed that second green and just adding, and you'll see I kind of get a little too dark, so I grab my paper towel and I, I pick up some of that color. And I've added a little bit of yellow 
just one of the yellows that I've already used, just kind of pouncing some of that color in there to kind of get those to tie together a little bit better because realistic leaves would have that. For my centers of those sunflowers, I am using the colors Burnt Umber to start. And then I will move on to a Van Dyke Brown. And I sort of pounce those in there as well. I'm not using actual brush strokes. And then this is where I decided I needed just a little bit darker. I needed to add a little bit of brown. I wanted extra contrast in those leaves or in those petals. And I think that really, really bumped it up a notch there by adding just a little bit extra. And unfortunately, I didn't write that color down. That might actually be the burnt umber that I'm using because it looks very familiar, very similar. So I'll add that all over that yellow just to kind of add a little more contrast. And then I'm going to go in with one more color on the centers, which is my graphite gray. So that's extra dark. And then I take that graphite gray and I splatter that all over. So let's actually make a card now. And I do the same process for all 12. I have a, um, this is the blueprint sketch, my favorite things blueprint sketch number 29. And I just cut that out using, you know, my big shot. And then I've got a heavy duty glue here. Then I will glue that down to my card base and that will finish off the card. So with the 12 that come in the set, I made cards out of all of them. And um, what I like to do is, and I'll show them to you, I like to sit in color while my husband plays his video games. Uh, you know, he's gone a lot. And so uh, one of the things I like to do is spend time with him when he is here. So this gives us an opportunity to for him to play his video game, something he enjoys, and for me to paint, something I enjoy. And I still feel like I'm spending some time with him. So with this card in particular, I don't care for the background. Um, I think this was the very first one I did, and I got all gung-ho thinking I would do backgrounds. And I know there have been some that have done a beautiful job on backgrounds, but I don't really care for that background. And then um, I'm just going to go through uh, how I completed them, uh, you know, in the order that I completed them. And I'm telling you, these Daniel Smith watercolors are awesome. These Susie Plantura, is it Plantamura? Plantamura um, watercolor cards are awesome too. Like, they're just beautiful. Um, I plan to get more because I just love sitting there and coloring. It's mindless. I can spend time with the family and still paint, and it's great. And when I'm doing that, I try to use like a water brush so that I can sit out there and I don't have to have... So I got these water brushes. These are by Pentel. Yeah, and um, they're pretty nice. I like them. And this way I don't have to try and uh, pull my rinse well out there and see what I can do with that. So these are some of my favorites, too. I just really love how some of these really turned out. This one I kind of did in the dark because I don't have great lighting out there. When it starts to get dark, it, you know, I can't paint that well out there. But regardless, I had so much fun making these. And I plan to get more of hers and just keep painting. And then this is the one I painted for you all. So there. Now I've got a, a set of 12 cards that I did over time. Um... And I'll keep doing those and then like take that last one, I'll, if, if you guys enjoy this video, I'll take that last one that I do and I will paint it in front of you guys and then I can show you all, all the other ones. If you have any questions about how I did any of these, it's the, basically the exact same um, process that I did for this one. The only difference is just using different colors. And in, in this case, I used a water brush for most of those. But um, the rinse well and this number four silver brush worked really well in here. I will definitely be doing that again. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing. And if you liked this video, hit the like button so that I know you enjoyed the watercoloring. And um, as always, thanks for stopping by. So bye, guys.